You've heard about the Russian interference in the election, how it sowed discord and division between groups. But you might not have heard that these divisions were centered on black identity. Racism is a vulnerability in the United States that can be exploited. There were a series of online campaigns that were the testing bed for what would eventually happen in 2016. It started as early as 2013. Donglegate was a campaign targeting a black woman who spoke up about sexism at a tech conference. A few black women created a campaign to identify fake accounts that were pretending to be black women with the hashtag, your slip is showing. But the pattern of fake accounts pretending to be black women had already taken hold. This tactic would later become useful in the 2016 elections to suppress the black vote. Twitter and Facebook account, both disguised to look like they were run by the same black activists, were actually the work of Russians. When the House Intelligence Committee released the 3,500 ads from the Internet Research Agency, the overall sentiment was that it was about race. Among all the groups targeted, African Americans received the most attention uh, by these Russian troll farms. The understanding that African Americans should be targeted to try to keep them from voting for Democrats, but also recognizing the way in which racism and racial tropes could be used to stir up uh, racial divides in the election. As of today, the problems we are facing with social media have yet to be solved. No matter how sophisticated the algorithms will become, the solution is within reach, and it's a human one. I don't believe it will be fixed until we focus on the victims of these attacks instead of the attackers. When people think about black women or girls, they are standard stereotypes that are instantly believed. We will not solve this problem until we understand that.